47 years after it was tossed out to sea, a bottle with a message inside was found along the south shore of Long Island. The person who found the bottle was surprised to learn it was all part of a school experiment. CBS 2's Nina Kapoor has the story from Brookhaven. It's dated December 1st, 1972. This is for a science experiment. We are studying the currents around Fire Island. A message in a bottle washes up to shore 47 years after it was tossed out to sea by William Curiosis's science class. Please return to William Floyd High School. Very important to be returned. The idea was to track the paths of several bottles to understand water currents. Many of them were returned and studied until Curiosis retired in the 90s. He said he hadn't put much thought into potential stragglers until Long Island resident and bottle collector Susan Hennis stumbled upon one. No, I can't be. So, no. Then I saw the, uh, I saw this, I saw the paper, and I said, that's it. That, that was it. OMG, <laughs> what did I find? You know, and I'm like, wow, I really like the bottle, but I'm going to return the note. But no, then it got to go together. And they will. Both the bottle and message will be displayed and preserved at the school. For 47 years, this was out floating in the waterways, but managed to stay in pretty good condition. Everyone attributes that to the type of bottle that was used. The first thing I thought of was when this bottle did okay for 47 years in the water and in the sand and in the storms. Uh, it, was, it had a good, I guess it had a good seal on it. Unfortunately, the school hasn't been able to track down the student who dispatched the bottle, but hopes future generations can learn from its journey. As for the $50 reward. Hennis says just finding the bottle was reward enough. In Brookhaven, Long Island, Nina Kapoor, CBS 2 News. So where could this bottle have been all these decades? Where could the current have taken it? Lonnie mm. Quinn is here with me now to explain the science behind it. Okay, we're, we will. Okay, we'll look at currents and things in the ocean, but these are all, okay, these are all hy hypotheses, right? We're giving Got some it. guesses. Nobody knows exactly where this went. It didn't have a GPS tracker on it, so <laughs> we can say, hey, look, it was thrown in the water off of Fire Island, right? Well, it's possible it could float around a little bit, maybe get a little further offshore, further offshore. Eventually, it could get sucked up by the Gulf Stream, and that would push it over towards, across the Atlantic, over towards Europe. And now it finds the North Atlantic Drift, a current that one end, one end pushes it up to the north, but if it takes the southern tier, it would now travel down past Portugal, uh -huh. and then it gets picked up by the Canary Drift. That takes it right along the coast of Africa, and then, just like we know in hurricane seasons, uh, off the coast of Africa, that's where a lot of hurricanes are born, they then travel with the North Equatorial Drift, but this is a key to this whole thing, because let's just say, you got to fill 50 years with this body. Right. Right north of the North Equatorial Drift, there's a place called the doldrums. You ever say, oh, I'm in the doldrums? Yes. Like you have no motivation, yes. you're not feeling, you're, you're feeling down. The doldrums is an actual area where there's no push, there's no winds, sailboats just go there, and during the spice trading, they just couldn't make their way across. If it sat there, it would sit there for decades, then it would bounce back down eventually. We think maybe the North Equatorial Drift would bring it back, and it goes right back around that circle, back up to the south shore of Long Island. That is a big old guess, but it's a theory. Hey, it's Lonnie's hypothesis. Lonnie's we'll take it. Lonnie's Thanks, Lonnie. Right. That's a scary. That's a scary show. In and it's your new so. branding. All right.